Hi, welcome back to another episode of McEwenology. This is Tom McEw speaking and today it's the world of books and this is another content thing I'm doing for my channel. I am in my room and no, I'm not in a box. I just thought having a nice background of Van Gogh. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, I am on my new tripod. I just kicked the stand. I don't know why. I'm an idiot. And so I thought, what a great way to start my next video with the new tripod right in front of me and everything else. And it's amazing. A really amazing tripod. I got the nice ring on. And I think it needs a little bit of a lighting. Perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I love the ring. I really do. I love the round thing and everything else. It looks really, really nice. Got to find a new background, though. I might put my wall full of um, books and might move the posters um, slightly, you know. Let's see. Let's Comment down below, we'll see what you think. Anyway, today, guys, I'm here to talk about a book that I just finished reading uh, about last night, about an hour, about 24 hours ago, um, because it's late at night. I just finished work placement and I thought, let's have a nice night evening of me watching a film. So I watched Silent Hill with Sean Bean in. Fantastic movie. I love Sean Bean. Oh, yeah, Sean Bean. Amazing. Um, great film, great game series. Can't wait for the return of Silent Hill, where the rumours have been alluring around. It's absolutely incredible. But we're not here to talk about Silent Hill, which I love to talk about Silent Hill. Might do a video, maybe. Who knows? But we are talking about the glorious... Herzies, I think that's how to spell it. And it's a by, um, I'm going to murder the author's name, Lisa McHerwinity is the t um, her name. And I put the title in the video. Um, basically, the book opens um, a story of a man and then he gets murdered by a woman who didn't mean to kill him or anything else. And then it takes it from there. Um, and I just love um, crime novels and especially the detective ones by Tess Garrison and Patricia Cornwall, who are both queens of crime fiction. Um, I got this as a book swap and I, it's really how these book swaps work at my society as in the book club society. Um, we have a book swap, so I got this as a book swap. Um, I was meant to read The Power, which was really interesting, a Disposian um, feminist book, which sounds quite interesting to have a little read and all sorts. And then I accidentally changed it. Well, not yeah, I did accidentally changed it because I kind of feel bad because the girl really wanted me to read it. And I was just like... Oh, that's crime. Ugh. I only got two books to swap, so I swap um, A Thousand Years of Solitude, which I regret because I like to read it. And um, and I swapped it for Ev El The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I did review on the channel. So I actually read this one. Um, starting from Christmas and finished it in January. Um, I'm trying to read 150 books, so this is my main goal. So this is the one I just finished reading. This is my second book on the channel. And when I mean crime fiction, I mean... <sighs> Tess Garrison's books, they're just so gripping to read. Linwood Barkey as well, he's an absolute favourite of mine because he doesn't write... He writes crime fiction based on ordinary people who were stuck in serious situations like kidnapping and having an accident or um, disappearance and murder as well. 
which are, are so gripping. Like my favorite one is The Accident and the trailers for it are so dark and creepy. Like No Time For Goodbye, the ending of that trailer when you just see the man standing outside the window. I was in secondary school when I saw that trailer and that gave me nightmares for a while. I actually scream and my mum actually asked what's wrong and I said I read from reading um, Tess Garrison's um, Leavenwood Barclays No Time For Goodbye it gave me nightmares and my mum said oh my god you're like 15 why are you still getting nightmares <laughs> but the, the books are so fantastic um, this didn't reach to that level and it's weird like she writes a little bit of um, let me find it in some of her chapters she writes like short stories like little short stories um and everything else like the one says boyfriends on and i don't know what it means or anything else and it's just like little snippets um did not any make sense but i don't know why i, I don't really understand why they start with marlene um the woman um a poor old woman who accidentally killed somebody and then have some drama with um a guy some blah 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 yada 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 don't waste your money honestly i was got to um 100 pages and i was just like what what is happening what's it exactly happening how i'm going to get into it 200 pages I was like oh my god finish it already but i hate not finishing a book so i read it for the point of it really did not enjoy it but you know she did start a series from that book and i just didn't enjoy it it didn't give me the vibes and some of the topics were a bit dark when it talks about child pornography and um raping somebody it was just too deep and also the reason why i got into it because it's set in a place where my family orientated from um like centuries ago um in cork in ireland so i just thought it would be nice to to join my family inherit to revive my family inheritance but my, well not inheritance but my family ancestry and i just didn't enjoy it i just don't know it just didn't click for me it didn't click and it's a shame because i love crime fiction I love the stories and all sorts. And I got a couple of authors. I didn't really like Joe Nesbo. I think him as a writer is not very good. I think him as a writer, I feel like the um, his book trailers are very, very promising. And then when you read them, you're like, that's not exactly what it's like on the trailers. I know there's the movie with um, Michael Fashbender in The Snowman by Joe Nesbo, but I didn't get reviews so I just didn't bother even watching it it's a shame because I love Michael Fashbender as an actor um so yeah it's just like I'm very open with crime fiction like I can read romances like contemporary romances like Taylor Jenkins Reid as well her books are really good and I just like you know any type of books like Danielle Steele's, oh my god, I could just live in the lops of luxury of reading a Danielle Steele's book. And I'm going to try and read it on the channel and then introduce it to you guys. A friend of mine asked me to read a book called The Ring by Danielle Steele's, so I'm going to pick that up. But another one I like to read called Vanish, which is about child abduction and... All, um, all sorts the classics Danielle Steele's I might just do a book haul of Danielle Steele's to introduce you to you guys I have read a couple of her and she's just you don't have to be an old woman or um, an old woman to read her books you don't have to be a young girl or any gender you can enjoy any book I don't I just don't I don't really agree uh, a type of type of book called a girly book or a man's man's book I just don't agree with that because 
it just doesn't make sense. Like, you can read anything that you really want to. And I think it's good to get, enjoy some classic authors. Um, like, I read a lot of contemporary classics, like post-war, um, post-modern war, post-war post books. My favourite one is Brave New World. That was, was a very good one by Huxley as well. And... And some classic science fiction one like Rame as well by Arthur C. Clarke. I love that book. I wish they could make that into a movie. But this one, this one is just... Sorry, the, the person who, if you're watching this, I'm sorry that I gave this not a very good review. It's just, it doesn't spark to me. So, yeah, it, it didn't spark to me. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure you follow me on Goodreads. I'm going to be updating all my books and everything else to, to you guys. I'm going to use this lovely stand here. I will be doing music reviews. It's just I forgot my notepad. Um, I'm actually going to start listening to a band um, soon. Binge listening to a band tomorrow called Snow Patrol. So I'm going to get into that. Or maybe just start something little bit light like um razor light for an example trying to fill that music gap in and primal scream make any music suggestions and i will do it for you guys but books will still continue i'm still making book with tube um i'm making book tube and i'm also i'm gonna buy some clothes as well and so i'm gonna do like a little clothes haul um, unfortunately, I was going to do an unwrapping box of Zara, but Zara doesn't agree with me online. I don't like Zara online, but I normally just buy them and then just pick them up from the store and say, I ordered this and they will scam it for me. I'll get my parents to do that for me and I might just buy, buy it online and then it will get sent to my parents' house. So... Yeah, it just didn't agree with me. <laughs> Doesn't always agree with me with things like that. So, yeah. So, I will be going home, home tomorrow evening because my parents are coming back from Scotland, um, Glasgow, um, via a train. So, I will be going home tomorrow evening, just having a nice, good couple, a weekend away. And then I'm coming home on Monday afternoon because I don't have any lectures till the 8th of February. Um, so I will be immersed of being back at home. Also, I'm going to be doing a vlog um, on the 28th. I'm going to see Danny Beard at the scene. So I, if you see me, at the, if you're in Lincoln and you're going to see Danny Beard, uh, come and say hello to me. Um, if you want, come and say hello. I will be around. I'll be around with my best friend, Charlotte, who will be, hopefully, be on the channel with me. I'm going to actually do a Daniel Steele's book haul um, together. So we might just do, read one book, read three books by Daniel Steele's and, and take it from there. So she doesn't know this, but I'm just told this of her YouTube. So she might just say, oh, God, Tom. You didn't tell me. And I'm like, I'm telling you this now. <laughs> so thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be a vlog. Stay in tune. Bye.